they have. Dear viewers, you know in my last video how I showed you how to do functions of algebra? Well, today I am going to show you something more cooler. Today I am going to show you how to do factoring trinomial. Trinomial. So, first I got, so to do factoring trinomials, I got to take trinomials. So let's say, let's take x, I'm oh, sorry, let's take x squared and then minus 4 maybe. Minus 4x, let's take that, and minus 40. So, in order to do this, I first got to multiply minus 45 with x squared. So, I got to multiply 45. But see, there's no number here. So what we got to do is think that there's an imaginary one. So 45 times 1 is, is 45 and minus, and there's an invisible plus here. Minus and plus makes minus, and x squared is only less. So that means if you multiply minus 45 with x squared, and it's minus 45 x squared. Now, we've got to leave the minus 4x on top. Minus 4 and now we've got to see something. We've got to see which, which two number you can add or subtract. And those two number will become the result as minus 45. And the same two numbers, so it, that to multiply will become the result for minus 45x squared. So in order to find the two numbers, you got to find them in 45 times tables, in 45 factors. So I'm, I am going to find 45 factors in the prime factorization method I show you in the other video. So it goes with 3, 15 times, and 15 goes with 3, 5 times. Now, in order to think for it, it to make it equal to 45, I already see that 3 times 3 is 9, and 9 times 5 is equals to 45. So that means 9 and 5 are my two numbers. So... 9 and 5 are my two numbers. But we've got to see what you should do to make it to minus 4x. So as you can as we can see that there is a there is a minus sign before. And we know that the the, the sign with the bigger the sign with the bigger number goes with the answer before before the answer now that means probably it's minus nine and so that means minus nine and what five makes minus four we all know that minus and plus makes minus which we got to do so and the bigger sign has to go there so that now we so that we know that it has to, the, the sign has to be plus. Now, now we know that the sign has to be plus. But we, there's still one more thing. We didn't give the x's here. So we should draw down the x's. So now we have our two numbers. Minus 9x and plus 5x. So for our next line here, we've got to keep it 
x squared the two factors. Now we've got to put the two them. Minus 9x plus 5x minus 45. So now we the the math is not actually over yet. So now what we got to do is we've got to see which two numbers or letters we can divide we can divide these two by. In algebraic lang language, this is called taking away a comma. So here we can see that we can take x as a comma. So if we are taking x as a comma, we've got to leave the x, start with the bracket, and x squared divided by x is, is x and minus 9x divided by x is minus 9. I took x because we are taking the common x. Now, for these two, now, you know, as you can see here, I, here, here is my, one of my bi, binomials. So I've got to put the same binomials in the bracket. But I have to see which two number, which two common Com, which two same com, common numbers or common letters I can take as a common. So here we can see that we can take five, plus 5 because plus 5 times minus 9 is minus 45. Now, now, we, now we can see if this is correct if the two binomials are exactly the identical. So that means that this is correct because we have the same same, same binomials. Now the next slide, I've, I've got to see which binomials are are identical. So here I took here I've got to leave it in the bracket. X minus nine is identical and the rest of the things that are left is x plus 5 which we got to put in, a, in another bracket sorry so we got to put in another bracket x plus 5 so and that is the end so now you know how to do factoring trinomials Thanks for watching.